Learning objectives of element 5. Describe the health effects associated with exposure to noise and appropriate control measures. Describe the health effects associated with exposure to vibration and appropriate control measures. Describe the health effects associated with ionizing and non-ionizing radiation and appropriate control measures. Describe the causes of work-related mental health, ill health, and how the condition can be managed. Describe the risk factors and appropriate controls for violence at work. Describe the effects of substance abuse on health and safety at work and control measures to, re to reduce such risks. 5.1 Noise Jobs affected by exposure to noise. Construction workers, plant machinery, concrete breakers, uniformed services, small arms and artillery, entertainment sector workers, uh, loud music, manufacturing sector workers, industrial machinery, call center staff. Acoustic shock from headsets. The effects of exposure to noise, physical effects, psychological effects. First of all, uh, we will discuss physical effects. Temporary reduction in learning, hearing. Temporary three short shift. Hearing in ears. Temporarily tin tinnitus. Permanent tinnitus, noise induced hearing loss, permanent three short shift, inability to hear vehicles, warnings, conversations, <clears throat> and psychological effects, stress, concentrations, problem. The human ear, auditory canal hammer, anvil, air drum, stirrup, the human ear, terminology, sound pressure, the air pressure of sound waves moving through the air expressed in decibels, dB. Decibel, the unit of sound pressure level Subjectively, the loudness, frequency, the number of pressure waves per second. Awaiting sound pressure level collected to match human hearing sensitivity. C waiting sound pressure level collected for impulse noise. Decibel levels. Uh, measurement in decibel. Quintest audible sounds. Quiet library. Conversation, uh, fantast audible sounds, zero, quiet library, 20 to 30 decibel. Conversation, 50 to 60 decibel. Loud radio, 65 to 75 decibel. Power drill, 90 to 100 decibel. Jet aircraft taking off 25 meter away, 140 decibel. Noise exposure standards. The two factors which determine the degree of harm are noise level, duration of exposure. A noise assessment is undertaken to measure noise levels and duration of exposure. This is then used to make an estimate of workers. Personal exposure to noise. Personal exposure is then compared to the legal standard. 
measurements and assessment must be undertaken by a competent person. Noise exposure standards, personal noise exposure, the daily personal noise exposure is a worker's calculated eight hours noise exposure. Workers exposure to single peaks of exposure. Impulse noise is also measured. This is the peak sound pressure. Noise exposure standard subject to national laws around the world. No harmonized standards in the UK. These are laid out in the Control of Noise at Work Regulation 2005. Follow EU direction. European Directive. Noise exposure standards. Lower exposure, exposure action values are daily or weekly personal noise exposure of 80 decibel A and a peak sound pressure of 130 decibel C for impulse noise. Upper exposure action values are daily or weekly personal noise exposure of 85 dB and a peak sound pressure of 137 dBA dBc for impulse noise. Limit values are daily or weekly. Personal noise exposure of 87 dBa and a peak sound of pressure of 140 dBc for impulse noise. Where employees exposure varies markedly from day to day the weekly personal noise exposure can be used in place of the daily personal exposure standards. Noise exposure standards, action rigid, lower expo uh, exposure action value, 80 dB, carry out noise assessment, provide information, instruction and training, make hearing production available. Noise exposure standard action rigid. Upper exposure action, value 85 dB, carry out a noise assessment, reduce noise exposure by in general means, alert. If noise is still above 85 dB, mandatory hearing production zone, information, instruction, and training, provide hearing production and enforce use, health surveillance. Exposure limit value 87 dB. Immediately prevent exposure and reduce below the limit value. The ELV is an absolute ceiling above which exposure must not go. Group exercise a noise survey has been carried out and there are two work areas of concern. Machine shop noise level 83 dB throughout the shift. Food working area, noise level 90 dBA throughout the shift. Discuss the action that would need to be taken in each area. Basic noise control measure. How noise travels from source to rec uh, receiver. Reflected noise path. Direct noise path. Noise source. Structure and pathway. Basic noise control measure. Reduce noise at source. Eliminate, substitute, modify the process. Maintenance, damping, silencing. Interrupting the pathway, insulation, isolation, absorption. Protect the receiver. Acoustic heaven, hearing production. Hearing production. Air defender muffs. In case the air and bones surrounding the air. Air plug fit into the air canal. Group exercise. Discuss the relative advantages and limitations of air defender, muff type, and air plugs as forms of hearing production. Hearing production. Air defenders are muffs. Advantage, advantages of air defenders. Limitations. Easy to supervise and enforce use as they are visible. Less chance of air infections. Higher level of production possible through all sound frequencies. Bone transmission is reduced. Can be integrated with 
other PPE, safety helmets, reusable, limitations, uncomfortable when worn for long time, must be routinely inspected, cleaned and maintained, efficiency may be reduced by long hair, spectacles or earrings, earnings, or earrings incompatible with some other items were need dedicated storage facility. Airplugs. Advantages of airplugs. Cheap, disposable, often more difficult to wear. Do not uh, interfere with any other items for PP. Personal protective equipment. Limitations. Difficult to see when fitted. So supervision and enforcement difficult. Risk of infection if dirty or if cross contaminated when inserted. Hearing production. Whichever type of hearing production is chosen, arrangements should be made for information, instruction, training, safe storage, cleaning, maintenance, replacement. Hearing production. Attention. Information is required on the noise in the workplace from survey attenuation uh, characteristics of the hearing production from manufacturer. Each defender must give higher atten attenuation than airplugs. The role of health surveillance audiometry allows identification of workers with pre-existing hearing damage, new hearing damage, removal ex uh, exclusion of such workers from high noise area Investigation of noise control to rectify problem. Group exercise. Identify occupations at risk from noise induced, hearing loss, and the potential causes. End of section 5.1 exercise. What are the health effects of exposure to high levels of noise? There are three main ways of reducing noise. Fill in the blanks. Reduce noise at uh, Interrupt uh, the space from source to receiver. Protect the space through uh, through engineering control or PP. What types of PP are available? What are the uh, pros and cons of each? Thank you so much for listening. Five point one noise topic.